Chair, recognize Senator from Cumberland, Senator Gazowski. Thank you, Madam President, ladies and gentlemen of the Senate. The last time I rose to speak on this subject, six, seven years ago, was the 121st Legislature. That night, and it was late at night, the dark of night, about 2 o'clock in the morning, I gave a rather loud speech. It was one of the first times I ever spoke in the House. I didn't know how loud my voice would get. I found out that night because I looked at what they were trying to do then in the dark of night. It wasn't the best thing for the people of Maine. It certainly wasn't the best thing for the people of my district. At that time it was beautiful downtown and scenic Brunswick. It's now grown to being still beautiful downtown and scenic Brunswick, the rolling hills of Pownall, the seacoast of Harpswell, and the shopping mecca of Freeport. And this bill has been in front of us all year, and I've languished over it. I've talked to my friends on both sides of the aisle on that. My seatmate back when I was in the House at that time, um, sits behind me now, is the good whip of the Republican Party. He was very happy with my speech that night. He thought I was pretty good when I said that I stuffed 10 bullets for Adlai Stevenson the first time he ran against Eisenhower, and I earned the right to say what I was going to say that night. Now, of course, that was long before my seatmate now was born. But um, it doesn't make me any less concerned about the people of my district. And I have been around my district speaking. I don't know if anybody in this building knows quite as many mechanics as I might. I normally have my signs out in front of their uh, shops, whether it's big or little. Um, Freeport has an awful lot of small retail stores that depend wholly, almost wholly, on tourism. And I've gone to talk to them because I wanted to get a sense of just how this was going to affect my district. My party has talked to several times. I have not been willing or able to commit to this tax increase that people on one side of this aisle are talking about so loudly today. Of course, if you're cutting somebody's income taxes, I call that a tax decrease. We're going to pay a little bit more in sales tax in some places, while the people in Freeport are concerned about that. But they're also concerned about having their income taxes cut. Today, in the full light of day, in the morning, not dark at night, with very little talk about this, I'm going to support this motion today, which might surprise some people on my side of the aisle and somebody sitting behind me. <laughs> But I feel very, very committed to this, that it is a first step. And we have to start going down that road sooner or later. And today is a darn good day to start down that road. When they write the history books, or when they print the palm cards, one or the other, I want it to be on record that I was willing to stand up and represent the people of Senate District 10 an aggressive move to go down that road to create a better state, a better tax system, and a better life for the people in Maine. Thank you very much, Madam President.